want to make sure that we're getting a good base coverage from the base of the calf. Coming on down. Go ahead. Make sure we're getting that foot and ankle completely covered for us there around that heel area. All right, on the foot. What's our landmark that we're looking for that we can't tape below or above? I mean, excuse me. Fifth you don't want to tape above the fifth metatarsal. Now the pre-wrap, if you come up above that, it's not going to be an issue. Okay, it's not going to press in on anything with the pre-wrap, but the tape will press in against it. All right, starting first with our anchor or base strips up on the base of the calf. Want to make sure we're getting at least two up there. Make sure we're overlapping about half the width of the tape. Notice also that we had a slight angle to it as well. Okay, at that angle, that's going to help us to put it in a better, put the tape in a better angle for them as we're applying the taping procedure. Our anchor or base strip on the foot, coming along underneath. Slide that thumb or finger along that lateral border. Find that little speed bump for us, that base of the fifth metatarsal. Make sure we're staying behind that. Pulling with just enough tension to keep the tape nice and smooth but you don't really have to crank down with a lot of force there, okay? We want to make sure we've got room for the foot to be able to expand once she gets down and actually walk, run, and jump there. All right, what's next for us? Stirrups, okay? Remember, we're going to start from our base strip on the calf, pull it down from medial to lateral, underneath the bottom of the foot, back up, attach to that anchor base strip on the calf again, all right, remember with that first strip, we want to try our target zone should be about that back third of the medial malleolus underneath the bottom of the foot, taking up at least that back third of the lateral malleolus. Now, what do we talk about in class? We want to try to interlock or basket weave our strips. Mm -hmm. So the next up for us is what? Horseshoe. horseshoe, okay? On the horseshoe, start on our anchor base strip on the foot. Target zone about the bottom third of that malleolus. Coming on down around the back of the Achilles, along the lateral side, back to that anchor base strip there, target zone on that lateral side, covering about that bottom third there as well, okay? On the stirrups, remember, we're going to pull with some pretty good tension, trying to make sure we're keeping her in a good position. On the stirrups, I mean, excuse me, on the horseshoes, as we pull there, maybe not as much tension, but once again, still pulling with good, smooth tension, keeping that tape nice and even, no wrinkles, all right? to interlock or basket weave. Remember, now we're back to a stirrup. Overlap about half the width of the tape. Now our target zone on either side, the medial and the lateral side both, we're trying to make sure we're covering that heart of the malleolus right down the middle on both sides there. Same thing with the second horseshoe. Now we're moving up the line, covering about half the width of the tape from the previous strip of the stirrup, I mean of the horseshoe. Now we've got the malleolus, that midsection on either side covered. We've got to do three of each. So now we're to that third horseshoe. So with this third horseshoe and that third stirrup, we should have complete coverage now of the malleolus on either side for them, okay? All right, what's next for us? Figure eight. Figure eight, okay? Remember, figure eight, we want to completely encircle the foot, completely encircle the lower leg. I'd like to go ahead and start it right there where the laces are at for us, okay? Right there where they're going to tie them up. Pulling down underneath that arch, up on the lateral side, right back to where we started at. Continuing on around, medial malleolus, across the Achilles. Cross that top of the lateral malleolus. Turn it off where we started at, okay? How many how many uh, figure eights are we doing? Mm -hmm. Two, okay? So we're going to go ahead, knock another one out there. Completely encircle the foot. Completely encircle that lower leg. All right. After the figure eight, what's next? Heel locks. Heel locks, okay? Which side do we start first with? Doesn't matter. doesn't matter, okay? Either way is fine. Just make sure that we're doing two heel locks for both sides. What I want to do here, 
On the figure eight, we start there at the laces. We kind of keep things flat, you know, kind of almost in a straight line because we know we're going all the way around the foot. On the heel lock, I kind of go ahead and angle it towards either malleolus, whichever one you're starting at. It makes no difference. Angle it towards that malleolus. That diagonal angle that we start at helps to put us in a good angle coming underneath the bottom of the foot. As we come to the heel, now we're going to go behind the malleolus, across the Achilles, right across that malleolus on the medial side now. Turn it off where we started from. And we said we've got to do both sides here, so we're going to do a mirror image. Change it to where we're going to the medial side. Behind that medial malleolus, across the Achilles, across the lateral malleolus. Turn it off, so that's one for each side. Back to our second one. 